Here we are once again, the start of another week. And I want to say thank you to every partner that's ever partnered with this ministry, that's ever sown anything into this ministry. Thank you. Whether you're sowing your time, your prayer times, whether you're sharing these podcasts on your social social media, or you're, whether you're investing into the spread of this gospel, God's gospel, God's word all over this planet. Partners, thank you. I pray Mark 10, 29, and 30 over you today. A hundredfold return over everything that you sow into this ministry. You know, a lot of people don't realize how important God's Word is to people out here in the world that, that don't see any hope. They don't see any hope. And, and we are doing our dead level best to make sure that they have hope a confident expectation in him in god not in their not in religion not in and me or anybody else but in god's word and the truth in god's word and that's the reason this study that we've been doing in this podcast is so important and that's the reason i go out of my way to thank all the partners that help us because hey look god, we're in this together And we are in a time in world history that we have never seen. And that is you look around and see all the junk that's going on in this world. And you think, how did we get here? How are we going to overcome it? I'm going to tell you how we're going to overcome it. With faith in God. Believing what God's word says above all opinion. And standing in that word and believing without a shadow of doubt that God's going to handle what comes against us, if we will stand in what he has said, what God has said. Now, this is week 25. It just, it amazes me how quick time goes when you're doing something like this. Because day after day, I get stronger and stronger uh, in who I am in Christ Jesus. And I know there are so many others out here that are getting this. Do you realize this 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 podcast up until today, September the twelfth, two thousand twenty-two, uh, up until this day, we have downloaded our people have downloaded this podcast over seventy thousand times. You know, you know what that tells me that there's people all over this world has gotten the truth in what God is saying to them, for them, and about them in this in His Word. And I thank God for it today. So listen to me. Download this phone app and get these podcasts. Listen to them over and over and find out who you are in Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior. My prayers for today come out of Paul's prayers for the Ephesians. You know, Paul wanted the Ephesians, he desired for the Ephesians to have the the knowledge and the understanding of depth of God's love. And that's my that's my earnest prayer for everybody that walks the face of this planet, that they come to realize and know just how much God loves them, just how much he cares for them. And and God wants us to to see that and understand that. And how are we going to do that? We're going to do it through his word. Thank God for his word today. Ephesians 1.15 says, Ever since I first heard of your strong faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for God's people everywhere, I've not stopped thanking God for you. I pray for you constantly, asking God, the glorious Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, to give you spiritual wisdom and insight so that you might grow in your knowledge of God. I pray that your hearts will be flooded with light so that you can understand the confident hope he has given to those he called, his holy people who are his rich and glorious inheritance. I also pray that you will understand the incredible greatness of God's power for us who believe Him. This is the same mighty power that raised Christ from the dead and seated Him in the place of honor at God's right hand in the heavenly realms. Now He is far above any ruler or authority or power or leader or anything else, not only in this world but also in the world to come. God has put all things under the authority of Christ and has made him head over all things for the benefit of the church. And the church is his body. It is made full and complete by Christ who fills all things everywhere with himself. Ephesians 3.14 says, When I think of all this, 
I fall to my knees and pray to the Father, the creator of everything in heaven and on earth. I pray that from his glorious unlimited resources, he will empower you with inner strength through his spirit. Then Christ will make his home in your hearts as you trust in him. Your roots will grow down into God's love and keep you strong. And may you have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high, and how deep his love is. May you experience the love of Christ, though it may you experience the love of Christ, though it is too great to understand fully, then you will be made complete with all the fullness of life and power that comes from God. Now all glory to God who is able, through his mighty power, at work within us, to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. Glory to him in the church and in Christ Jesus through all generations, forever and ever. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. I thank God for his unmeasurable love, mercy, and and grace that he has given to us and 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 wants us to know it. Oh, I thank God for that today. And we we're gonna all see that and understand that and and realize his love through his word. Let's see what God's word has to say today. Father, I thank you and I praise you, God, for your word. Guide me. Use me for your honor and your glory. Help me be the light and the vessel that you can shine through, that you can speak through today. Lord, touch my mind. Touch my mouth. Help me be the light that you would have me to be. And I'll forever give you all the praise and glory for it all. In Jesus' holy name I pray. Amen. Now I want to go to Romans, the 15th chapter. In the 19th verse, uh, it says, Through mighty signs and wonders, by the power of the Spirit of God, so that from Jerusalem, round about Lyricum, if I can say that right, and I have fully preached the gospel of Christ. Let me, let me, re- let me read this in the New Living and Amplified, because I want you to, I want you to understand what, what God is saying through Paul here. It says, They were convinced by the power of miraculous signs and wonders and by the power of God's Spirit in this way. I have fully presented the good news of Christ from Jerusalem all the way to Lycurium. And that's the New Living Translation. The Amplified Classic of, of uh, Romans fifteen nineteen it says, Even as my preaching has been accompanied with the power and signs and wonders, and all of it by the power of the Holy Spirit. The result is that starting from Jerusalem as far as round as Lycurium, I have fully preached the gospel, faithfully executing and accomplishing, carrying out to the full the the good news of Christ the Messiah in Jerusalem. It's a tirety. Now I read this 19th verse, and I want to read this again in the King James Version. It says, through, it says, through mighty power, mighty signs and powers, by the power of the Spirit of God, so that from Jerusalem and round about Lycrim, I have fully preached the gospel of Christ. I want to proclaim to some, to something to you today. The entirety of, of, of the gospel in Christ Jesus, in him. Now, I, there's something that has, has really, I'm talking about, just really touched my heart over the years, that, that I have come to the understanding of this. And Paul said it. He said, you know, there's been, there's been signs and wonders accredited to Paul's, to Paul's ministry. But he said, he said, look, it's all been in him. It's all been in the, the entirety of the gospel in Christ Jesus, in him. And, and when we come to understand that, that I don't care what good works we do in this world. I don't care what we, we do in this world physically and, and, and carnally out here in this world to further God's kingdom. It's all been done in him. I, I don't want, like, <laughs> we've talked about this a lot this week, but I, I'm going to tell you something. I don't want credit 
for what God has done in my life. I want to give him all the, all, all the honor and glory for it. But, but let, let me reinforce what I've been talking about. We have got to stand up and be seen as who we are in Christ. We've got to stand up so the world can see God in us in the entirety of the gospel in him and the working of that gospel through the born-again children of God in Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Honey, there ain't nothing in this world that thrills me any more than to, to, to be able to stand up and say, God has saved me. He has cleansed me. He has made me right with him through my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And the religious world just wants to scream, no, no, you, you know, don't you know where you've been? Absolutely, I do. I know without a shadow, shadow of a doubt where I've been. But if God ain't going to hold it against me, who am I to bring it up anymore? Or who am I? Who is anybody else for that matter? I, what God, the, <laughs> the Lord told uh, Peter in the 10th chapter of Acts, he said, what I have cleansed, let no man count common. Glory to God, the entirety of the gospel in him. In Him, and and uh, you want you want to clarify your salvation. If you want to clarify your salvation and settle your heart on the fact of who you are in Jesus Christ, come to the knowledge and the understanding that the entirety of salvation, the entirety of the gospel, it, it is presented to mankind through Jesus Christ and his sacrifice, and God shines that light through us to the world that we can, that, that the world out here in this world, they see that light, that love, that mercy, that grace, and that goodness that God has, has freely gave mankind through God's children. And when we come to realize that, and understand that, that changes the way we look at ourselves. And, and, and then we can start blessing others the way God has blessed us. I'm going to tell you something. I, there's a man in my life. There's more than one person in my life that goes out of his way to just, I'm talking about hinder my ministry. And 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 every time and i'm around him quite a bit and just in 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 a daily walk that he goes out of his way i can see it i i i'm not i'm not uh saying that i have any you know any special power i just see in his actions the way he the way he does and how he speaks and and the the things that come up when he's around that that he works against me. He works against this ministry. But like I said yesterday, I have made it my mission in life to love him, to show him that love, because I, I'm satisfied that he don't know, he does not know uh, what God is doing around him. Every every day, every day, what God's love is doing around him, what God's word is doing around him, and 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 God has given me a love in my heart for that man, that that I'm going to see him born again if he's not born again, and if he is born again, I'm going to see a complete change in who how he goes on and acts in the world that that we both are intermingled in. Oh, I thank God for that. I thank God to know and understand that that the entirety of Jesus Christ's ministry is is wrapped up, wrapped up. The entirety of the gospel is in him. And and the world sees that gospel, sees that good news through us. And the people that that stand in the way of all this, sooner or later they're going to see God in us if they'll just turn around and open their eyes but i'm gonna tell you something how how does that 
how how does that work? How does people see us in who we are in Jesus Christ? It's when we allow ourselves to find out who He has made us to be, what He has made us to be, and 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 how we have come to a place that. That, that we allow his, his love and his mercy and his grace to, to flow through us to other people, even though those other people may be working against us. I've seen it happen over and over in my life. I've seen people work against us and out here in the world, seen people work against the church and seen how God's love can change their hearts, change their hearts so that they come to realize and understand that what what we have, they decide they won't. There's people in that jail over there every day for the last four years. They've saw God in this ministry because I go in there presenting the good news of God, the good news of Jesus Christ. I'm not in there telling them how they've screwed up. They don't need to know. They don't need to be told that. They know. They know. The judges and the attorneys and everybody else that's around them has has clarified where they stand as far as that that uh, jail is concerned. No, what I'm in there to to do is to show them what God can do in their lives if they'll let Him. What He's done in my life, He'll do for them. And and that is that's it in a nutshell. Paul he wanted the the people to know and understand. Listen to this again, right, Romans fifteen nineteen through mighty signs and wonders by the power of the Spirit of God, so that from Jerusalem and round about Lycrim, I have fully preached the gospel of Christ. And how did he do that? He he went around teaching and preaching who Jesus Christ had made us to be, has made us to be, and, and operating and living in him. It, I'm talking about the world around you. We'll see what God has done for you through Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior, the entirety of the gospel in Christ Jesus. Let that, let that truth shine through your life. Because if you'll find out who Jesus Christ has made you to be, it'll change you. It'll give you a love for people that, that used to really get under your skin. I promise you it will. I promise you the love of God that is shed abroad in our hearts can be given to the world, but we have to choose to give it to Him. Give it to them. Give it to them today. Now, I've got a question for you. Now, this, you know what's coming are you born again? Do you know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Listen to me, I want you to understand something. There's millions out here that believe in God, believe that Jesus done what he done and God raised him from the dead to, to justify them, but they've never made Jesus Lord of their life. They've never made him Lord of their life. And today's that day. I want the world to make Jesus Christ Lord. Romans 10 and 9 says, If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, it says thou shalt be saved. It says, For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. That's all it takes to be born again. It's not a big show. It's not a big production. It, it is a simple decision to make Jesus Lord of your life Confess him as Lord, invite him in, and believe what God done. And that was raised him from the dead to justify each and every one of us. I, I, I ask you today, make Jesus Christ Lord of your life today, because he'll change your life like it's never been changed before. Now, hey, listen, I want to encourage you. Go to our website. It's the-prodigalson.com. Go to our website and get this get this phone app. Download this phone app so that you can get all these all these scriptures, all these podcasts to build your faith in God. Not in me, but in Him. Faith in Him by knowing who you are in Jesus Christ. And then you can go back to June the twenty first 
of 2021 and find out who God has made you to be. Oh, I thank God for those truths. Go to our website. It's the-prodigalson.com. Now listen, if you're a partner of this ministry, partners, I want to take this time to tell you thank you. Thank you so much for all that you do sowing into this ministry. You are helping us further God's kingdom by the by the spreading of the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ, spreading of God's word all over this planet, free of charge. You know, there's all kinds of ways that you can partner with us, and and you have you've done it. Yeah, I mean, you've done it. But there, the, all the people that's listening today, if you're not a partner, there's all kinds of ways to do it. You can part with us, partner with us with prayer time, sharing these podcasts on your social media, show, sowing your finances into this ministry to help us further those those podcasts that go out all over the planet. I help us further to the kingdom of God through the truth in God's word. So if you're not a partner, pray about becoming a partner. Pray about what God would have you to do to sow into his kingdom today. Go to our website. Get in touch with us. It's the dash prodigal son dot com